All right, so we're going in. We are going in head first. I gave Parvati the shrink ray and I gave Scarlett Johansson the gloop gun. So this is gonna be really funny. We're going in science, science first. Get in, this is the door. Is this locked or something? Can't freaking do it. Oh, why, hello. Oh shit. We cripple him? Stupid, stupid. This gun's not doing well. This gun's not doing well. Should maim this gun. Woo! And go around, girls. Can we do this? Can I do the super move? Do the girls' super move. Yes. Don't get up. Don't get up. Where's our girl? Yes! Oh, far, far, is a wrecking machine. Far, far is a wrecking machine. Yeah, we got this guy. We got this guy. Oh crap! We got more of that. Come on, baby. Damn, I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt here. No! What's happening? It's all falling apart. <laughs> Name you freaking dude! What do we got? What do we got? Oh no, she's dead! She's dead! My friends are dead! Get the hell out of here! Damn it! I will survive! I will survive. My friends will come back alive. I promise you all this! Check me out. Check me out. I got my suit on. That guy's gonna shoot the hell at me. Oh god, that guy was like charging me, wasn't he? This guy's gotta go out. Take my time. Damn you! Go down, drone! Oh shit! Oh shit! I got this. I got this. Go down, drone. Go freaking down, drone. Take the shot, take the shot! Go! Oh, my hands are sweaty. My hands are so sweaty. Where's the thing? Is that him? What the frick is he doing? Maim, stagger, run. Dude, I'm a gamer, dude. You can't, you can't. Get out of here. I need my girls back. My girls, I need them back. This guy gonna fly? Cripple you, son. Cripple you. Cripple you. What you got? Oh! 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 Get away from him. Get away from him. Where is he? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Cripple. Man. Can't shoot me. Oh, I should have reloaded. I'm an idiot. Let's try that again. Oh, no! What the fuck? Oh, shit! Me inside! Oh, no! Run, you fool! Oh, my God. These freaking robots. These drones, man, they work. Step off. Step off. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Go, 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 go. Down. Just get away from that big robot, man. Get away from that big robot. Holy crap! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, am I getting hit from the other side? You sneaky sons of biatches. They're trying to flank me. Other guy's over there, I knew it. Oh, snap. Nice try. Nice try, robots. You think you're smart, eh, robots? Where's my guy? Where's the big boy? Watch the big boy. 
Come here, dude. Get down, dude. Watching the gun. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, boy? Shit! Why don't I have any? Oh my god. Okay, now it works. But I gotta damage him. I gotta damage him. Sheesh! Jeez Louise, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. Jeez. What does that even do? What does that do? That stupid jump move. Oh, he just charged me right through me. Okay, okay. He kind of stopped that thing, does that? He kind of stops after he does that. Yeah, make him do it again. Do that again. Oh crap, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's doing it. Did he do it? He did do it. You fool. I will avenge my crew, yo. My crew is coming back to life. Give me one second. I think I killed all the, the drones already, so this guy's on his own. You are on your own, fool. Is he gonna do it? Oh, you poor guy. Oh shit. Oh god, my controller, my controller. Please connect, controller. Please connect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for connecting. Will this hurt him? Let's see. Will that hurt him? Where is he? He seems to be... What's he doing? What's he doing? Is he trying to avoid me? Can't not avoid... I cannot avoid your death! And I think there are more droids. Oh god, there are more droids. The frick did they come from? I don't think so. Okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe. There are so many. There are so many. This is not how it goes down. This is not how it goes down. We survived. We survived. Oh shit, the big the big guy's right there. I feel like there's more drones this time. Blind your face. Blind your face. And take you out. Oh no! No 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 no! No, 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 no. Oh my god, my butt, my butt cheeks are so clenched right now. And stick and move, stick and move, baby. We stick and move, we stick and move. What the frick? Stick and move, stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. My palms are so sweaty. My butt is so clenched. But I'm telling you right now, taking these guys out. Oh my god, my fingers. <laughs> my fingers, I need baby powder. Get out of here. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Do it, I dare you. Oh, that was a mistake, fool. Oh, damn. Reload, guy. Woo! That was big, that was big. That was a big hit. Where my drones at? Where my drones at? She's right here, dog. Where my drones at? Run, boy. Run, boy. Run like you've never run before. Come on. Damn it. I you still not die. Okay, what's next? Nah, bro. What are you gonna hit? What are you gonna hit? This could be it. I'm gonna go behind him. Cross over this way. Nice. Screw you guys. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. You're out. You're out, bud. You're out, bud. Yo, I'm so glad I grabbed this gun. I think it's Phineas's gun. I think it's Phineas's gun. So this is very... This is very uh, appropriate. It's time for you to die, brother. Yeah, Ben, take the freaking knee, dude. Take the freaking knee. Oh god, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Take a knee, though. Take a knee. 
Yeah, hit, hit a wall. Take your knee, man. Holy crap, this dude is putting in a fight, boy. He's putting in a fight, and I better reload. Sheesh! Holy smokes, before more joy. Yeah, hit the wall, stupid. It's over. It's over. Oh. Hibernation chamber key. Why would you why would you leave the chamber key card on that guy? Are my girls dead? Oh, they're back. They're back. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry about that girls, but we did it. Let's wreck this. Oh my god, I got to wait for my hands to dry. I'm they're so sweaty. God. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, I think I'm ready. Palms are still sweaty, like really sweaty. Let's go up in here. We've come this far. We're not gonna let a little sweat keep us from dominating this. Sophia had no idea. She didn't she didn't think I could do it, did she? Kill my friends though? Oh wow, it all of a sudden gets very glamorous up here. Wow. Open up. Oh shit! Oh god! This girl's legit trying to kill us! Oh, snap. Oh, snap. She just got vaporized. <laughs> oh, I guess, you know, for some reason, I thought she was just as strong as the robot. Like, I thought she would have given us that much trouble, but it wasn't much trouble at all. What did she have here? The chairman's key. Get me out of here. Dude, <laughs> look at you. You don't look like you're in a good way. Okay, let's use this and then use this. You don't know how glad I am to see you. Yeah, I bet. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her death was much deserved and long overdue. I don't know her that well, but... And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind. Right. And I can't begin you know. to thank you enough. I had nothing better to do. <laughs> are you all right? What do they do to you? Are you kidding? The board never stood a chance against me. You know, I wouldn't let anything happen to you, Phineas. Do you have any idea how much trouble I went to to save you? Are you all right? What did they do to you? I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me if you hadn't arrived. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. Oh snap, what do you know, guy? I don't like the sound of that at all. She I really do not. Oh man, I don't like the sound of that at all. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. Oh damn. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. They haven't exactly been hands-on around here anyway. So there's one less rubber stamp to worry about. Earth is humanity's home planet, Miss Fenhill. The psychological effects of losing our original home will be devastating. I guess so. You mean, we're all alone out here? Really alone? Oh, not alone. We got each I'm other. I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Hmm. A lot of luck ahead of us. 
Can we best get started? Hold on. I need to ask you something. What do I need to ask him right yes, now? Yes, certainly. I'll help however I can. So tell me, what do you think happened? I don't know what happened, but something must have gone horribly wrong. I don't know why Earth's gone silent. I don't even know if Earth exists anymore. We have no connection back to Earth, and return is likely impossible. We are completely alone out here. Hmm. How do you know all this? I heard it from Akande herself. She tried to pressure me into joining her side, you see. Tried to make me realize that all hope is lost, and that we are alone. She was half right. We are alone, and we're going to have to fend for ourselves, because there's no telling what's happened to Earth. Hmm. Well, uh, what's a free gate? You mentioned a free gate disappearing. What is that? You might have heard of the Earth Directorate's frigate. Frigate. Half the colony's entire military was on that ship. They ah. were returning to Earth when they vanished without a trace. That was two years ago. We haven't heard a word from them since. Whatever happened to Earth likely happened to them. Hmm. All right. You said there haven't been any new messages from Earth. Yes, Akande mentioned as much. Earth hasn't sent us a single message in three years. No one knows why. Akande had kept the truth to herself, perhaps with good reason. Can you imagine what would have happened if word got out? We'd have utter pandemonium. Oh my gosh, man. You guys don't trust the people. I guess it makes sense. People do panic, but there's something else. I know about the other colonists, Phineas. The other colonists? What are the- who are the other colonists? I don't remember this. I wasn't trying to hide the truth from you, but after all you've done, I owe you an explanation. Yes, I experimented on the Hope's colonists. Ah, this part, yeah. Each of my experiments ended in catastrophic failure. I read about Each that, of boy. My subjects died in agony. But he was sorry. You are my first and only success. I didn't tell you about the others because I didn't want to burden you. My failures are my own to bear, not yours. Oh, he was looking for an apology from only a colonist could apologize for him. Uh, never, never, never. I forgive you, brother. It's fine. Thank you. Perhaps in time I'll learn to forgive myself. My apologies. I need to get a hold of myself. We've far more pressing issues to worry about right now. If you have any more questions, ask me. I'll answer as best I can. I don't have any more questions. We've got work to do. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? Well, you know I will. I got plans. With the chairman in my pocket, no one's going to know I'm running the colony. <laughs> Interesting. I'm going around this colony myself. I've already convinced the chairman to take my side. You can count on me. I'll help you revive the other colonists. I'm going to do what I've always done, whatever I want, all the time. What do I want to do? No one's going to know. I'm running the colony. I've got plans. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. You can count on me. I'll help you revive the other colonists. I mean, that's what I've been doing this whole thing for. When I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I had our roles reversed, you see. You're the one who's going to save us all. I'm just the one who set you on your path. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to leave this colony, you have my support. Oh, hey, thanks, bro. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Mm. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it? A little bit. A little bit, a little bit. The 
OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and oh, intellectuals. So it worked. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way that to sucks for them. Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind. Hey, survival. sick. That's what I'm talking Life about. especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation. Damn. But most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Sanjar's civil liberties and worker-centric policies were slow to catch on with the other corporations. But as Halcyon began its long, arduous journey toward recovery, many of Terra 2's smaller townships started adopting MSI's alternative corporate structure <laughs> oh. and eventually became entirely self-sufficient. Oh, snap! Sanjar! In the coming years, Many of these townships managed to eke by, where otherwise they might have starved. That's dope, that's dope. Bolstered Sanjar. by the savior of humanity, Lilia Hagen ushered Sublight Salvage to a new golden age. <laughs> Her company grew bolder and more transparent over time, okay. muddying the line between lawful and criminal for the entire colony. Oh, God. The Sublight family would thrive for years to come. Hopefully, she's not doing anything the too crazy. Of left its workers bereft of any purpose in life. Most of them made their way to Adelaide McDevitt's camp, hoping to ingratiate themselves into her favor. Adelaide accepted only a few to her community. The rest what? were turned away. Are you serious? died of starvation. Nevertheless, Adelaide's camp grew into a well-established town. Damn, she was like held a grudge. Adelaide McDevitt refused to cooperate with the ongoing effort to save Halcyon from collapse. Wow. A sympathetic deserter stole a copy of her research and delivered it to the Hope's scientists. It is unclear how useful Adelaide's research was. An optimistic estimate suggests her work may have bought Halcyon another few years of survival. Adelaide would never know. She died that winter. Wow, she died holding on to a grudge. Of June Lake Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave Julie the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. Dope, I'd like to hear that. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable reality Good. about the state of Halcyon. <laughs> Good. While Byzantines were reluctant <laughs> to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Hey, sorry. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Exactly. Some even had to get jobs. Oh my god. It was a dark time indeed. Oh my god. Your influence shifted Ellie's perspective. Hey! She finally admitted, albeit grudgingly, that she just might need a little oh. <laughs> Yes, Scarlett Johansson! With a steady income from the life insurance payouts, she was finally able to afford a ship of her own. Dope. She hired a small crew and flew supply missions to communities on the fringe. Awesome! Some of them were even legal. Oh, God. <laughs> life in Halcyon That's great. was sobering for Felix Millstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. 
Aww. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Hey, that's what happens. Felix that's what happens. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. Yes. Once the matter with oh. the both colonists was resolved, Junlei bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the groundbreaking. Hey. And Parvati enthusiastically, if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. Awesome. The stories of her adventures spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. <laughs> uh oh. Having served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. Huh. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. She and Julie were never far apart. She found her place. Yoko returned to Monarch to oh. take another crack at making a permanent life for herself. <laughs> she formed the Caron Group, an MSI subsidiary of ragtag survivalists and wilderness experts. Anyone in need of a guide, or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories, could find her camping on the trail, or clearing an infestation. Hey man, she Before found her place. Before untimely death, Captain Alex Hawthorne had plans to restore and modify, for combat purposes, a sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical that he found in a state of disrepair in Emerald Vale's scrapyard. That unit remains broken down and forgotten in the unreliable supply closet to this day. Minister Clark was released from okay, who cares? and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed... Who cares about this guy? Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. Well, thanks. Chairman Rockwell served as the public face for the changes in Halcyon to come. Whenever you needed strings pulled or a voice to sell a policy change, Rockwell was only too happy to oblige. Good man. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the Ministry. Hey, great. Wells never <laughs> forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. Uh, in the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Proper. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. Halcyon saw a period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs in dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation. Geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Okay. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Life. Today, Halcyon has stabilized. The people of the colony work hard to adapt to their new circumstances. Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon, but for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. <laughs> The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. Hey. No one knows Thank what's you. happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this, the name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. Oh, that's it, guys. <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. All right.
I guess the game's over. I give a little quick review at the end. Um, this game, 10 out of 10 when it comes to script writing, dialogue, you know, I love all that. All of the different, I don't know what the technical terms for it is, but like, all of the little different routes you can take when it comes to the story and what different characters have to add to different conversations. Like the level of replayability for this game is super high because I want to go back and I want to get the priest because the priest was supposed to be one of my crew members too, but I screwed it up and I couldn't get him to be. Uh, so yeah, I want to, I actually am already thinking about it. I want to go back and play again and work for the board and have the only, the only um, crew member be the priest. Or I don't know, because maybe it'd be cool to have the others there again, but like going against the board. So yeah, re replayability, super high. Things that I didn't enjoy about this game, um, it's a little old feeling, and maybe that's because it's on Switch, and so the graphics are like not as crisp, and there was a lot of like uh, dropping of frame rates and the loading times just in the middle of the worlds sometimes and also when you're transferring worlds those loading times are really long as well so I, I find myself sitting around staring at nothing for a long time while I'm playing this game waiting for things to load don't like that um also I wish that I wish that the kind of style of this game because we know that it's influenced from Fallout. Uh, we know that it's, yeah, it's taken from there. So the style of the game is very similar. It's kind of like floppy, like when you kill an enemy and they go flying and their limbs are like all weird and stuff. It's kind of like unrealistic in that way. And it makes it kind of jokey and kind of fun. But at the same time, I would like to see games like this, if they're going to make more The Outer Worlds, I would like them to be more realistic in the way that they play out uh, especially in co with combat it's a little old like the engine's a little old I want to see like just uh, I don't know I need a refresh it needs to be refreshing it's too like tacky <laughs> I, don't know how to, I don't know how to put it let's clean it up a little bit if you had a the amazing storyline and the script writing and the character design and you know the character personalities with just a fresh coat of paint and better i guess just better gameplay all around uh, a little smoother it would be nice also lastly i don't appreciate there not being another crew member like why is there six slots crew members and only five you can get in total also, I don't like being head faked when it came to me thinking that there were more planets that there actually were. Because there are planets there. They're faded out. I feel like I could go to them. But no, you can't go to them. And I heard that they're potentially coming in DLCs. I don't know if there are any DLCs yet besides the one that was just revealed in the Xbox X Series, uh, Series X showcase. They showed that DLC for the Outer Worlds, I think. And that's the only one I know. I don't even know if it deals with any of the planets here, but yeah, that's about it. That's about my review for that. So out of 10, I would give this game, and I guess specifically for the Switch, maybe if I played it on PlayStation, I would have had a better experience because of the graphics and things might've gone smoother. But for Switch's version, I'm gonna give it like a, man, uh, I'm giving it like a 6.7. 6.7 I'm giving this game I feel like yeah I feel like that's fair for if I were to play it on PlayStation or like Xbox one I probably would have given it a seven or like a seven point low like a 7.2 or something but yeah that that is my review for this game I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play it I it definitely enjoyed playing it myself like my rating does not reflect on my enjoyment of the game I don't know. Is it 6.7 even low? I don't know. Uh, I really enjoyed playing it, besides the loading times. And I do hope that they continue to make this game. I really do. And continue to improve upon it. Because I would love to play another one. 
So, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. I think I'm gonna get inside next. I'm gonna play that game inside. And I don't know what else. I gotta look into it. I've had Burnout Paradise forever. I haven't even played it yet. So maybe I'll play that too. But until next time, thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop that like and that sub if you have already. I love you. I love you regardless. And I'll see you next time, guys. GG.